Hello everyone, my name is JJ. So this weekend is a very big deal for Canadian TV because it is the weekend of the Super Bowl, which is always the single most watched TV thing of the year up here. In any given year, it is estimated that more than half of all Canadians will tune in to the Super Bowl, making it by far the single biggest one day television event in Canada. The next biggest thing is the Oscars, which pulls in similar numbers. But those two are obviously very special cases. Aside from movie stars and Tom Brady, what do Canadians like to watch the rest of the year on TV? Well. I can tell you because yesterday I went through all of the Canadian TV ratings for the year 2017 to find out what shows were most popular among my fellow countrymen. And the results will shock you. Or maybe not. But let us go through the most popular television shows in Canada together and you can see if your taste in TV matches that of the typical Canadian. So by far, by far, 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 the most popular television show in Canada is The Big Bang Theory. Canadians are obsessed with this show and it tops the Canadian television ratings almost every week of the year. You could grab any Canadian off the street at any time and statistically speaking, it is more likely that he will have watched The Big Bang Theory than anything else on television that week. I have noticed that word of Canada's Big Bang Theory obsession has even made its way to the US. I have had Americans ask me if the show is Canadian or if it's made in Canada or something because they don't really understand why it is so popular in this country. Country. But no, there is no Canadian angle. Much like the works of Shakespeare, the adventures of Leonard and friends are just epic, timeless stories that transcend national boundaries. But the Big Bang Theory should not get too cocky. There is another very popular show that is fast winning the hearts and minds of Canadians and is in danger of toppling the Big Bang Theory from the top of the Canadian charts. That's right, Young Sheldon. Now, the next most popular thing on Canadian TV is a reality show. Most Canadians in general can't seem to get enough of reality TV these days. Most of the biggies from the States are very popular up here, like MasterChef and Big Brother and American Ninja Warrior, but none can compete with the grandfather of them all, Survivor. Next to the Big Bang Theory, no one show occupies a higher spot in the Canadian charts and holds it for longer than Survivor. Not even America's Got Talent, which is the second most popular reality show in Canada. I personally wanted that robot dancing boy to win, how about you? And when we aren't watching people eat bugs or Simon Cowell crushing people's dreams, what else are Canadians watching on TV? The answer is crime dramas. From Bull to Blue Bloods, from Criminal Minds to Hawaii Five-O, from Chicago PD to those 10 other Chicago shows, if there is one thing the exciting people of Canada love, it is legal procedurals. And the one they love the absolute most is NCIS, which I must confess I have never seen and know absolutely nothing about. Although the TV tropes people say it is actually the most popular show in the entire world right now. And it's about like killer sailors or something. How did that happen? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, JJ, these are all just American shows. Don't Canadians watch any interesting Canadian things? Well, yes, of course we do. Kind of. The most popular Canadian show these days by quite a bit is Amazing Race Canada. Now, if you are a reality TV show fan, one of the good things about living in Canada is you get two versions of everything. Because if a reality show is successful enough in the States, they will inevitably make a Canadian spin-off. And they'll usually start the Canadian spin-off right after the American season ends, so the magic truly never stops. So we have like MasterChef Canada and Big Brother Canada, and they're both pretty popular, but nothing can compete with Amazing Race Canada. It's basically just the normal Amazing Race but with Canadian players. And they basically act exactly the same as the American players. It's not like they do each other's roadblocks to be polite or something. It is quite literally just like having a second American Amazing Race. Amazing Race Canada has done five seasons so far, which is pretty good for a Canadian show. And it is hosted by this ginger weirdo. The next most popular Canadian show is the news, specifically the CTV Evening News. Now, Canadian propaganda would have you believe that Canada's most beloved news outlet is the CBC, Canada's government-run BBC ripoff, but in practice, it is not very popular. The ratings suggest that far more Canadians prefer to get their news from the rival, privately-run CTV network, which, full disclosure, I used to work for. CTV, by the way, is also the Canadian network that airs most of these other shows we've talked about in Canada, so maybe that has something to do with why their news is so popular. I mean, most Canadian TVs are probably already on that channel anyway. So what do you think? Do you have Canadian style taste in TV? Or do you maybe think that we Canadians have terrible, terrible taste in television? Let me know in the comments. Honestly, I'm actually a pretty bad Canadian because I do not personally watch most of these shows. But then again, I also don't watch much TV in general, which makes me an even worse Canadian. Luckily, I make up for it by being stereotypical in other ways.